Hi, it's Brandon from Kickstart PPC, and in this video, we're going to be diving into our roadmap of Scale Insights. When we onboard a new account onto the platform, things we look at first, how to set everything up, and what are the biggest priorities. So let's jump straight into it. Now, what you need to do firstly is connect your accounts. So go ahead and sign in via your Amazon account on North America, Europe, and one of these three markets if you're using those. That should then start to pull the data. But do be aware, it does take a while. So for some accounts, I've seen it take over 24 hours to pull the data. Typically, it's within a day. You should have it all set up. But it completely depends on how big your account is, how much data it needs to pull. So if it's taking a while, that means it's uploading all the proper data. So don't be too concerned with it. If you haven't already and you don't have Scale Insights yet, you can get our coupon code in the description, 10% lifetime discount with a 30 day free trial no need for a credit card to sign up so if you haven't had scale insights yet or you're thinking of using it you can click that below now before you get into analyzing the data you want to make sure you input your cost of goods so go ahead and go to the product section and from here you'll be able to add in the production cost freight cost lead time and freight lead time Make sure it's all up to date on each product to make sure that you have the best data and most accurate data when you analyze your products. Now, based on what you entered, you're going to see what your profits are for each product and you'll be able to break it down by each expense that comes through. So from this, you'll have the predicted payouts for the period. So say $168 for that product for today, or if you go seven days, 14 and 30 days, you can see it there. Also, sales by date, you can see how things are looking. Ignore the time frame here as this is a demo account. So, but this gives you an idea roughly on how, how it's all going to look when you hook it up to your account and kind of what data you can expect to see. So you can use it in that way. And when you go into sales, you can go into sales trend and you can see on a monthly basis or, you know, a two weekly basis, whatever you prefer or you can go into sales trend. That's also gonna have the monthly. So quite easy to analyze there. The day parting trend, so this is very valuable. You wanna be analyzing this for your product. Hourly sales, hour of the sales per product, day of the week sales, and day of the week sales per product. This is just the overall, and it makes it look a lot easier. Hour of the week. So you can even go granular than just hour of the day look at the average for each day of the week. This is gonna be pretty granular in terms of setting up your day parting rules, but you know if that's the way you wanna do it, you've got the data here from Scale Insights. You wanna be looking at what your return rates are. So you can look in all the data, look at the refund rates, what's been refunded, and then you can also look at into customer returns, why were things returned, and then figure out how to improve the product, Next, you wanna be looking at your PPC versus organic sales. So easy way to find that is go onto this calculator tab here, click in that. This is a way that you can analyze each ASIN as well, but for PPC versus organic, this is the easiest way to look at it. So for example, you can look at every week and this is a good way to benchmark where you are versus where you were the week before and the previous week. So for example, PPC sales 8.72%. That means your organic are making up a large amount of your sales, which means your TACOS is gonna go down, for example, 2%. So having low PPC sales and more higher organic is really the way you wanna go. But for say a number that's that low, you could definitely increase that. Typically, we like to see kind of around 40, 60%. So 60% organic, 40% PPC. That's a good rule of thumb. But it completely depends on your product and your niche. Some products you find as much as you push them with PBC, they just don't rank. And that could be down to the market themselves and kind of what people are priced at. But some of them, you just give it a push, you make sure you rank it and you keep the PBC in the right place. And then that should kind of level out at a certain PBC organic level. Now with automation, we'd like to start with the blacklist rule particularly because it means any keywords that we find in the initial audit, we can move it into the blacklist rule, applies it across all campaigns. So a lot easier to manage versus having to add them into each campaign. 
So here's where we recommend you start. Go into the blacklist rule. Any keywords that you have that you want to blacklist, go in here, select the ASIN, and from here, add in the negative and negative the phrase. Whitelist, not as important, but it's definitely good if you don't want something to be negative if you're running blacklist automation. We would like to do this manually, but it's up to you how you want to handle this. Now your next most important automation is going to be the bidding rules. So go over to automation, select bidding rules, and from here, you'll be able to select sponsored products, sponsored brands, and sponsored display. We're going to use sponsored products for the purpose of this video. So go to create a rule. And here you'll have a number of criteria. Now criteria, you want to use three main principles when it comes to it. Firstly, it's going to be your in choke rules. This is going to be anything where there's a new campaign for a new product and maybe it's not getting any impressions or clicks. This will then increase the bid every so often. And this just keeps doing so until you get impressions and clicks. So you want to be using this for either new launches or campaigns that maybe did good previously that maybe aren't working as good. Second principle is your standard optimizing rules. And these are going to follow a pretty standard set of principles when it comes down to it. It's not going to be over optimizing as you go, but it's, it's going to be looking back at enough period so that it's making the right decisions for your account. So firstly, you want to be looking back at say a seven, a 30 and a 90 day period when you make these changes. And you also want to have that your changes are only made at a certain frequency say seven days. You don't want to be optimizing every one, two or three days. And there's softwares that do this. And I'm not really a big fan of that. So kind of giving it enough time to go through the week. Say, for example, you have a product that does well on a Sunday. On a Monday, it doesn't do so good, but it's very up and down days of the week. If you run a campaign for two days, maybe you've ran it on the days that it doesn't perform as good, then you're not going to have an overall for the week. So Take that into account when you actually set up these rules for your account. So you want to do that. And also you want to make sure bid amounts aren't overdoing it. Make sure you're not over optimizing these campaigns. So you know, if you make a change, for example, if you drastically reduce the bid, you know, you're going to have potentially a campaign that stops getting any traction. You need to be optimizing it a lot easier and not going too harsh on the bid decreases or increases to make sure that things don't get messed up. For the third principle, the main thing you're going to be looking at are your campaigns that aren't performing. So anything that has say a 90% ACOS, more than 25 clicks, 30 clicks, depends on your product price, as well as high ACOS and maybe no or limited sales. So you'll be wanting to look at making more aggressive decreases in the bids on these, lowering the cost per click, it might be that the conversion rate just isn't good enough and the keyword needs to be paused. There are, op are options for that, but this is all about decreasing the bid for stuff that doesn't work. So you'll have to make your own judgment if there's stuff that needs to be paused or use the pause management automation on here. But you've got the option here to have certain keywords that aren't performing, have the bid decrease to a point either where they can perform or whether you decide to pause them. To coincide with bidding rules, you can also automate budget rules as well. So go into daily budget rule and an easy way you can do it is just go create rule and you can say either by criteria, high conversion rate on a day, it increases the budget by say 100%. Or if you find during the week that on a Thursday you do really well, you can then say every Thursday increase the budget by 100% or 150%. And you know, that's a way to do it easily, but if you want to do it based on conversion rate, ACOS, TACOS, you can do it here and it's quite easy to do. If you need to create new campaigns or you don't have any, there's a really simple way you can do this using the Scale Insights platform. You can either go for an auto campaign here or fully managed campaign. You've got day parting options here, which are pretty useful as well, but go in and set up a fully managed campaign. From here, you'll be able to select either dynamic bids down, fixed bids up and down, top of search placements, product naming, strategic objective. So say none if it's a manual campaign. And then you can select your targets. So go in here and choose either your ASIN targets, your discovery, Q1, 
keywords here. So put in any keywords that you want to target, add that in as a say exact match. And after you've done this and you've selected your ad groups, you just press preview. And then from there, execute. So once that's done, it creates the campaigns. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of Scale Insights content, Amazon PPC, FBA on here. So you won't want to miss out on what's up and coming and what we uploaded before. There's a lot of value there, particularly if you're a Scale Insights user and you're looking to get the ropes with all the main features. We made videos on every single topic when it comes to Scale Insights. So if there's something you need help with, you'll find it on the channel for sure, Kickstart PPC. And if you need help with your Amazon PPC, kickstartppc.com. You can contact us and we'll do a free audit on your account. See if there's a way we can help you out. Lastly, Ad Insights is where you want to be getting all the information regarding your campaigns. And if you use search and reports and you go in and look at what everything is and how everything's performing, this is a lot easier and a lot more user-friendly. Keywords with zero sales, keywords with high ACoS. You get the point. It goes everything in terms of your products and kind of breaks it all out. So, for example, if you have something that's missing in the title and it's a good performing keyword, high conversion rate, it'll suggest it to you. And if you go into these tabs here, you can go into search terms. So search term reports, find everything you need in terms of performance, what you maybe could turn into a single keyword campaign and isolate that out. So, and then you've got in competing keywords, you've got uh, that information there, negative keywords. So that's all added in as well as main keywords and dead keywords. So keywords that maybe did good in the past that aren't performing now. So you can look in there, see if there's something that should be revitalized and boosted if you want to. Search term trend, you can also go in there, advertising trend. This is the same as that sheet I showed you earlier, but if you wanna to get to it from here, there's another way of looking at it. Hopefully you found that helpful and hopefully it makes it a bit easier onboarding yourself on the Scale Insights. If you have any questions, feel free and leave a comment below. More than happy to answer it and see if I can help out in any way. And don't forget to take full advantage of that coupon code in the description, 10% off, lifetime, and 30-day free trial. Until next video, hope you guys have a good one, and we'll see you soon.